this was a new idea by Sky Arts to do a landscape artist of the year competition and I put in a couple of paintings and surprisingly got selected to be one of eight people and you had a day to paint whatever they put in front of you which was a rather large fountain I seem to remember and you have to try and paint it and uh, by the end of the day come up with something that they judge whilst being interviewed by Frank Skinner and various people. The ideal outcome is you win a, a set of paintbrushes and uh, eternal glory. I didn't win, sadly. At first, just pretty horrifying being in front of the camera, which isn't something natural for me, but I then got quite used to it and started doing penguin impressions for Frank Skinner. It was freezing cold. I was wearing two pairs of gloves and trying to paint, but my hand was shaking. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge, but it was quite exciting sort of being surrounded by all these crew and everything all day. It was quite good fun. Not painting oils, maybe bribe the judges. Painting in oils might have been a bit of a mistake because they take 24 hours to dry and the competition was only sort of five hours long. Uh, there were other people painting in acrylics and you can build up the layers because they dry every sort of 10 minutes. So I tried to compensate by painting on metal, which is very slippery, um, which given my hand was shaking, made it, made it quite a challenge. Wow, how nice it is when people keep bringing you cups of tea. I mean, every hour, that was lovely. I wish that could happen in normal life. It was great fun meeting the other artists and having a day on set and learning how much goes into filming something because for every scene that I did, we probably shot it from three or four different angles and did it three or four different times. You know, when I watch The Great British Bake Off, I think, gosh, that must be so hard not just to bake that cake, but have to answer an interview at the same time. So it was quite an insight into that world. Thank you.